happy about this. This is a good move by the Broadcasting Commission. And I think uh, it, will do, it will go a far away in trying to solve some of the issues, some of the challenges we're facing in Jamaica as it relates to what you're being trained to do. Uh, video production, lifting the standard of local production, in particular in the area of music videos. I think this week was really good. It's the second week and like you said, and I've been enjoying it so far. It was interesting to see Winfred. Um, he talked about music videos. Purpose of a music video is to promote the music, the work of the artist. That's its main purpose. And if you are limiting the reach of the video by the content that you select, or how non-creative and simplistic it, it is, you are limiting the promotion of the song. Some of what he was saying was new to me, like I didn't, I never heard of some of the stuff he was talking about. So that was interesting to hear. I am looking for a more creative input in the videos, in particular music videos. The video producer, director, is, is more uh, depicting the lyrics of the song and trying to match that with visuals. And most of the time, it's over the top, too explicit, and leaves nothing to the imagination of the viewer. In fact, it's non-creative. It was very entertaining, of course, and informative. So it's going good. Week. Two connects back with week one because now we're learning about how to create content that's actually acceptable for TV like what we learned in week one. Sex and violence is our, our big topics in dance. A lot of the stuff that we see created, you know, it's, it's centered around like certain, like you can say maybe like five mainstream topics and so, you know, people aren't really getting creative with their videos. In Jamaica is known for being creative. And we want to see Jamaicans from here, from here a yard, uh, move forward and, and impact the world with, with visuals, with audiovisual storytelling. I think creativity is very important and I'm going to apply more of that to my videos as well. And something you can tone down artists to when my, when my talk slapness and stupidness. Tone him down with the video. The interaction between um, Winford and us, the way how he talked to us, he spoke to us like we were on the same level as him, the same page. Yeah, I think that was good. I've been doing parkour for like five years now, so I'm kind of advanced. Movement can, can do a lot. Really, in terms of, um, no, you know, nobody likes, nobody's gonna watch a music video if the artist just stands one place and just singing the entire time, you know. For I create video production, um, I would love to actually do some parkour inside the new music video that we're working on. That would be fun. Visuals of the music is now up to you guys. So your challenge is to make sure that what you're making will not be limited. I think that everything that you capture in that scene should it should def you should be able to tell a story from each frame. And I'm pretty creative too, so I could probably add that to the table. I'm very excited about this because I'm committing um, on stage to it. <laughs> you know, there's going to be a lot of creative minds um, doing helping to create this video. I'm sure that we'll be able to, you know. Um, come to an agreement with, with just one main idea and, and create. I, I have no doubt it will be good, it will be special. So yeah, we're committed. Scheduling is important. Same with a music video. Mr. Campbell came to one of my teachers from MTI and he was telling us about the production process and budgeting and scheduling and stuff like that. If it is a music video that you're producing, it has to do with scenes in Trenchtown. A lot to learn, a really, a really 
enjoyed what uh, the presentation so far. What is props? So this is what props is all about. Things that you throw into a set to enhance it. Planning, um, especially in the pre-production stage, is very important to any um, show or any, anything like that that we have to put together. It's a combination of a set and props that would give you the kind of look that you want. It could go really well. I'm hoping it does go really well. I create because I'm passionate. I create because I'm intuitive. I create because I love it. I love to. And no one can create what I create.